next up is gonna be oh my word 98 rated Pamavinga. welcome to the team what are you saying everyone adr here welcome back to the channel today we are trying to get that one to nine foot draft 96 rated 33 chemistry guys leave a like if you enjoy these videos and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more we'll start off with 93 rated mia ham which is okay we now get 98 rated r9 literally perfect can we get a big cam as well we get 96 rated zico so it's a very nice start center mid number one is gonna need replacing we'll take sanson center mid number two oh no we'll get teleti there can we at least get one big center mid you know 96 rated kevin de bruyne will have to do we're gonna need two new center mids on the bench first center back we get a choice of three different 90 rated players now I think Pasquero might be the easiest to get links to. Gordon does get that USA link, but who knows whether Mia Hamm will still be in the team come the end of the draft. So I'm going to go with Pasquero here. Left back. Oh, we need a new left back as well. Uh, we'll take Barnes. Centre back number two is going to be Lusumi at the end is very nice. Right back We'll have to settle for Zanetti. Gets another icon in the team, so don't mind it. He can play centre mid as well, which is nice. And we get Cabell. So we're only 92 rated. We've got loads of players um, in the midfield, especially, that need upgrading. We start off with Casillas, who helps us with chemistry if needed. We now get 94 rated Cafu. And you know what? That works because Zanetti can go left back. Cafu goes to right back. We are looking good. Next pick is... Oh, not great. 87 rated. We'll take Koi Visto there. Can we get a big centre mid is the question. Yes is the answer. 94 rated Fred. Gets those Brazilian links which is great. Can we get another big centre mid? Madri's not too bad. 92 rated. Gets that French link with Pascaro so that's very nice. In terms of chem, it's just Kevin De Bruyne off chem at the moment. We are only 92 rated though so we do need a bit more rating. And you know what? That's going to work perfectly. 96 rated... Diego Forlan goes into the team instead of Mia Ham, and actually she'll go, he'll go into the team instead of Madri. I think um, we do lose one chem that French link on Pascal, but that's fine. And last pick is going to be 96 rated Julian Alvarez. Does he have cam? Oh, he doesn't have cam. For the sake of one rating, I guess we take Grimaldo then, right? He can play left back. We've already got four icons, so we're not doing too bad in terms of chemistry. And it's a plus five on our current left back, whereas Alvarez isn't going to improve anything as it stands. So for that reason, we will take Grimaldo. Don't lose any chemistry. We're 93 rated now. We're going to need some big reserve players, starting with 93 rated Dino. It's not what I wanted to see, but it's who we will take. Next up is going to be, oh my word, 98 rated Kamavinga. Welcome to the team. Mia Ham to the bench. Kamavinga in at centre mid. Gets that French link with Pascaro as well. Two 98 rated players in the starting lineup. Kevin De Bruyne, only one off chem. Next pick is 97 rated Lionel Messi. Now it kind of makes me think I should have taken Alvarez for that Argentine link. But we weren't to know. We were not to know we were going to get 97 Messi. We will take him. Two more picks remain. Hopefully they can be good players. We now get 97 rated Kai Havertz. Alongside 96 Puskas and 96 Rodrigo. This could be it. This could be a 96 rated draft. I'm going to take Havertz. He can play striker, cam or centre mid. We could in fact play him instead of the De Bruyne. But for that Prem Chem, if we play him instead of uh, Fred, we need two more Prem players. Let's see who our last player is going to be. It's 88 rated DeMarco. I don't think that's going to help our starting lineup, to be honest. We will take him, though. So if we order up the team, we do need one chemistry point. If we get a Belgian manager, then Chem is done. We could also just play Madri in the starting lineup and chem is also done that way too now in fact we could play fred in the starting lineup to get that chemistry done 
Cool, so it's a 126 right now. We've got 97 rated player on the bench. Do we go up to 94? Straight away, yes we do. This is gonna be so close. Um, question is, if we go up to 95 with Dino and Madri coming in, oh, we don't. So 76 for a 97, probably. It's gonna take us up to 95, but we're still a little bit away from a 96. What we'll try to do is put in all the high rated players do we go up to 96? De Bruyne over, I guess, uh, Casillas. We're not to 96. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was very close. Very, very close. Not close enough, though. Let's get in. Let's take our manager and let's get into the next draft attempt. So, into the next draft attempt. Go with the... 4 1 2 1 2 formation, and we're going to start off with uh, Frank Ribery goes into center mid. That is not great. Smith's got a 97. We'll take Jack Grealish here for the bench. Now, the last draft was insane. Hopefully, this draft can follow suit. 93 Vialli is not really what you want to see, but 96 rated Jonathan David is. So, that was on a bad border as well. So, definitely don't mind it. Cam is going to be Rod, who, I mean, not great, but we'll take her. 98 rated Rodrigo de Paul is amazing. Center mid number two, going to be the 90 rated Kessler. Can we get a big CDM? Ooh, coffee at the end is okay. Gets plus chemistry as well, so her chem is as good as done. We now get 97 rated John Stones, who's got CDM as well, as well as right back. We get Matthias De Ligt as well, 96 rated. So you know what? This draft is, is cooking low-key. Um, Masrao is not great though. We'll need a new right back. And our left back, going to be 94 rated Charles. Can we get a big goalkeeper? Not by the looks of it. Uh, we'll take Alex Romero here. And hopefully, we'll get a good backup goalkeeper. And we get Radetzky or Dudek. Now, Dudek does have a high rated card, but it is a S not SBC, it's an objective. So uh, we can take Dudek here. It makes more sense as well, him being a hero. We'll do that. Bit of a boost to the rating. New centre back or right back would be ideal here. And we get a new right back, 94 rated Cafu. Welcome to the team. Surprisingly, that's our first icon of the draft, guys. How crazy is that? We now get a choice between Onabatye and uh, Nishvonga. Now, I think we take Nishvonga for the chemistry with Kofi, as well as plus one to the rating. Ona can play left back as well, but uh, I think Nishvonga just makes the most sense. Plus one there on the rating and on the chemistry. Next pick is going to be Michael Essien, 90 rated. We'll play him instead of Rod, and I guess Kessler can go to Cam. That completes our chemistry, which is nice. We've only got two icons and Cam's done, so we are looking good. We now get 96 rated Shuameni. Now, I think we'll play him instead of Kessler. Yeah, because our, our defense looks great. So what we'll do is Kessler can go there to the bench the pool can go to cam still 93 rated last uh substitute player is going to be kareem benzema not ideal but 90 rated is still okay we do have quite a few players that we need replacing only one high rated player really on our bench um and that's charles so we're going to need some huge reserves starting off with 96 bastoni or for the sake of one rating, do we go for Del Piero, who can play Cam, can play Striker? I think we'd go for Del Piero, and the reason being, I know Bastoni is one rating higher, but he's not. He'll take out Cafu, whereas Del Piero is going to be able to take out Essien. If we do this and then do this, should take us up to 94 rated. It doesn't. Still need a few more high rated players like a 97 rated Ruud Hullet. Uh, he will replace uh, Viali. So that does take us to 94 rated. Next pick, nothing doing. We're not going to take that DeMarco. Mertens may have a high rated card. We'll just go with De La Feu here. Two more picks remain. Come on, big players to end off with. 90 rated future stars Puyol. We'll take him. 
And our last pick, can we get a big goalkeeper? Oh, we cannot. So I actually reckon that goalkeeper position is going to let us down. However, that being said, oh, I mean, it might not even be a one to eight just because of that goalkeeper position. It's, yeah, it is. Wow. It's going to be a one to seven. Surely a one to eight if we had a better goalkeeper. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, please leave a like. And obviously, if you want to see more drafts, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the third draft attempt. So into the next draft attempt. I think we'll go for the three back formation this time. 3-4-2-1. We're going to start off with, we're not taking Messi. We'll start off with Dirk Kout as our right mid. Not really ideal, but sometimes that's just how it goes. We do get Bobby Firmino on a bad board, our 94 rated. And our striker is going to be Fernando Torres. Can we get a big centre forward? Okay, 95 Del Piero is nice. So the draft's not looking too bad. Left mid is going to be Aldasari. Who 92 rated is probably not high enough rated, but 97 is. Welcome to the team, 97 rated Vieira. Centre mid number two is going to be 97 rated McAllister. Back to back 97 rated cards, you love to see it. We now get 95 Cordoba at the end. This draft definitely has potential, would love to see. Oh wow, 95 Cannavaro. Can we get 99 Van Dijk with this pick here? Would be the dream. We get Issa Diop. That is not what we wanted to see. He will take him. Uh, gets that French link as well as the Prem links. And oh no, please don't let it be the goalkeeper that lets us down. We'll take uh, Gross here. Come on, big goalkeeper on our bench, please. Oh, 89 rated Donnarumma. It's going to have to do for now. Next up, we will get Costinha. Doesn't fit the formation, but we'll take him. And, oh no, this draft is going from bad to worse. Come on. We've already got big midfielders, but we don't have a big left mid. So, 95 rated Pavel Nedved is very nice. We are getting so many of those Euro icons. It's crazy. Great to the game is showing out in this draft. We get Goetze here, who I guess we'll take. Any big players around? 94 rated Hernandez is great. Uh, we'll just replace him for the uh, Firmino because it completes our chemistry. Six icons in the starting lineup. You love to see it. Six greats of the game, I believe. Yeah, six greats of the game in the starting lineup is crazy. Now, Nasi is a nice increase. We're still looking for a new centre back as we get. Well, I was told in the comments how to pronounce his name. It's like Mikau, Miko Tadza, I think. Maybe correct me again if I'm wrong. Um, it's not bad though. We now get... An, ooh. Frimpong's the, the decision here. I know Proif is an icon. Uh, but Frimpong goes to right mid. I think that's kind of a no-brainer, right? We'll do that. We really need to see a centre-back though. That is the problem. Back-to-back 97 rated players again, by the way. And you know what? Messi can even start because of that Argentine link with McAllister. Now, this draft is currently looking amazing. For, uh, how many 97s? Four 97s in the starting lineup. The problem is, we really need to get a new centre back. And they've given us another 97 rated player who's not a centre back. Now, I'm not complaining because Croce is going to complete our chemistry, which is lovely. It's great. Uh, we'll play him instead of the Del Piero. However,. EA Sports, we could really do with a centre-back for this last pick. And we don't get one. Oh, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. Honestly, guys, these first three draft attempts have been incredible. And it, you know what? It should be 95 rated. We've got five 97s in the starting lineup. It's going to be so close to 95 rated with a 78 rated centre-back. Just to show you guys... That is enough to take it to 95. I'm very confident of that. Wow. If oh, Better goalkeeper, better centre-back. And we are looking at a 1-2-9. Uh, a it's just, wow. That is disappointing. No one can play centre-back right here. That is that is honestly crazy to me. Wow. The, this, this video is fire though. Leave a like, guys, again, if you're enjoying it. 
Let's again get into the next draft attempt. So into the next draft attempt. Do you know what? Let's go with the... Ooh, 41212 is really good as well. Right, let's go with the 41212. We're going to start with captain pick of 92 rated Raul. Don't mind that. Alongside him, we are going to get 96 rated Chavinga. Gets plus chemistry as well, which is always great to see. Pam is going to be Shearer. We're getting the what is that winter wild cards icon, so that's not a good sign. We'll take Bernardo here. Coming a big CDM. 98 Camavinga is the dream. Oh no, they're giving us the old promos. That's not what we want to see. Coming a big right back here would be great. One of Batier is decent. 95 rated. Center mid. Ugh. We'll take Sanson. Come on, don't let us down here, EA. 95 rated Luchumi is very nice. Come on, big center back alongside him, please. We get 94 rated upper. It's decent. Left back is going to be Wendell at the end. 94 rated. Again, that is good. Big goalkeeper now, please. I haven't seen Shawn Michael in a little while. Wouldn't mind seeing him. 92 rated Yashin will have to do. And on our bench, choice between Mary Epps and Cobell. Uh, we have Upper, but he's the only... No, we'll go with uh, Mary Up. So he gets the English link with uh, Shearer. Lose a bit of chemistry, so we'll leave her on the bench for now. Next up is 94 Cafu at the end is nice. Um, we'll replace him with Wendell. Our chemistry is done, actually, so that's very good. 96 rated Jesus Navas next. So 96 rated Navas next doesn't really fit the team, but we only lose two chemistry, so that's not too bad. Next up, we get 96 rated DeMarco. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have center mid, but he can play center back, which is it's an upgrade on the upper Meccano, so we are not complaining. Next pick is going to be Loftus-Cheek on a bad border. Definitely don't mind that. Going to replace Sanson. Completes our chemistry again, which is great. Attacking pick now is ooh, 96 rated Ferran Torres. And you know what? He's got striker. The only issue is here is that we don't have many icons in the starting lineup. But we are not going to pass up on a 96 rated player. We could do it for a new centre mid and maybe even a new cam as well. We get another striker, 95 Schuler, um, which is, I mean, it's all right. Definitely don't mind it. No one else can play centre mid, no. So uh, we're going to need some centre mids on our reserves. We start off with 94 rated Machado, another defender, which is high rated. So we don't mind, but we obviously need centre mids. Can Dabinia play centre mid? She can't. She does go in and replace uh, the Shearer, but we, we need icons at this point. So, we'll see what we get for the rest of the draft. Janssen's not really what we want to see. We get 96 rated Griezmann at the end. This is a draft of strikers and defenders. Uh, 96 Griezmann. Does he get more chem than Shavinga? No, he doesn't. Does go onto our bench. This will be another 95 rated draft. I'm sure of it. Last pick. Oh, wow. Our last pick let us down. But if we order up the team... Oh, wow. Look at that bench. There isn't, after we make this change, everyone on our bench is 94 rated or above. The problem is our centre midfield position has players 88 rated, 91 rated. So it's really letting us down. I'm shocked that this isn't a 95 rated draft, you know. I know we don't have any 97s, but the sheer amount of 96s, 95s and 94s, I would have thought it would have would have carried it to 90, 94, but I guess not. Let's um, let's just put in the high rated players, right? I'm sure it must be close to 95 rated. Wow, it's still not 95 rated, fair enough. Uh, let's get into the last draft attempt. So into the next draft attempt, I'll go ahead with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. And oh, we're going to start with Kimmich as our captain, I guess. Or do we, you know, what? let's take Rashford for the bench. There's none of those players really appealed to me. 
Our first player is going to be 90 rated Cola. Not really what you want to see, but we'll take him. Left back, we'll take this Taylor as well. So this draft hasn't started off very nicely, but you know with draft, everything can improve in a matter of picks. Joe Bellingham isn't going to improve much. Neither is that version of Mateus. We will take him though because we need the icons. Okay, this... This is not looking good at all. This feels like a draft in like December, <laughs> January time uh, at the moment. But as always, we will not give up until the last pick. And 90 rated in Kunku is not great. We'll take, you know, Marcel Desai, not his highest rated version, but it's a bit of an improvement. Right back is going to be 97 rated Kyle Walker, our first good pick of the draft. And back to back 97s actually, Shamichael and Walker. Does that save the draft? You know, let's take our reserves right to left first. We're going to get 91 rated Rodri. Who... Oh, we lose Kem. You know, we'll leave him on the bench for now. Next up, we get 90... Oh my word. Three 97 rated players in one pick. Why couldn't they have spread those picks out over the draft? Uh, I think the one that makes sense though is 97 rated Furlon Mendy goes into left back plus 22 on our... Oh, what? 97 rated CR7 next. We've Out of the last five picks, we've had four 97 rated players. That is why you don't give up on drafts. 97 rated CR7... Goes into the team. Two more picks for our reserves left. And guys, 98 rated Cruyff. I cannot make this up. The only problem with this draft is the bench is going to stink. But I am not complaining. 95 rated Renard next. Wow. She's going to play instead of Cola. And it's just a big increase yet again. Do, do we get to see 95 rated? We do. Wow. Okay, and you know what, Makalele hold the bench because uh, Desai has CDM. So there you are, it's a 1-2-8 with Rashford on the bench. We've had so many stinkers as well, surely we can get this to 1-2-9. Okay, Danny Rodriguez is not what we wanted to see. Oh, neither is Henderson. Oh, EA are messing with us today. At the end, Marco 96 rated. Big upgrade on the Cola. Uh, does that take us back up to 95? It might do. It doesn't yet. Three more picks remain. We get 94 rated Cafu. And, ooh, okay. He does complete our chemistry. Oh, does he? He does complete our chemistry. Um, last pick is, wow, 95 rated Marquinhos. What a crazy draft this is. We'll put Kyle Walker back in at centre-back because Kem is done anyway. It's just the uh, the centre-mid position really letting us down. Last pick, we get Donnarumma. Now, if we order up the bench, the, that's the thing. The bench was always going to be low-rated when we had a start like we did. Tell me how this is a 97 rated, a 94 rated draft. And you know what, guys? This was the fifth attempt. But we're going to do one more because that draft was so crazy. Let's get into the next one. So into the next draft attempt. You know what? I do like the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. We'll take it. We'll start with... We're not starting with Kreef as our captain. We'll take Vola as our captain. Alongside him, we get 95 rated Fernando Torres. Always nice when you see a greats of the game icon. Makes me feel like there will be more to come. Now, Vieira's great. So is Mateus. Both of them have high rated cards. We'll take Fratesi. Our cam is going to be E. Okay. Take JJ Okocha. I guess being a hero could come in handy for chemistry. Vieira's there again. And you know what? This time, oh, he's got a 97 rated version, which is the problem. Do any of these guys have CDM though? So I'm going to take Vieira here. CDM. We'll need replacing. Take Rosario. Centre back number one is going to be Cascante. 93 rated is decent. 97 rated is amazing. 97 rated John Stones. Can play right back. Can play CDM as well if needed. Right now it's not needed for right back. We get Yankuto who's 95 
rated and left back not her highest rated version but 91 rated basher on a bad border we don't mind it and nick pope 84 rated is going to need replacing and we get keating to do just that so yeah okay we need we do need a few higher rated players but it's definitely got potential 93 rated roberto carlos is a small upgrade on the team also plus one to our chemistry we get 94 rated uh cafu next We're actually probably gonna stay on the bench but good option again if we need it for chemistry next pick is going to be now doku doesn't actually fit the team rodri fits perfectly 96 rodri welcome to the team Yes, we passed up on a 97, but he's going to be on the bench anyway. And we're going to get a 97 rated player anyway in Lionel Messi. We could do it for bigger striker, um, but we've still got quite a few picks left. So who knows what will happen? We get Puskas here, which is a plus two upgrade on Vola. This draft doesn't look too bad. We need a few, maybe like a 98 or a 99. If we don't get one here. We do get 96 rated Forlan. Goes into the team. Uh, plus four on our rating. Next up is going to be Hemp, who doesn't fit the formation, but 95 rated on the bench will be good for us. Lizarazu, bench rating again. Oh man, that's that's a shame. Parade is and last pick. Can we get a big player? We cannot. Mertens. So if we order up the bench, it's a 9-4, right? I would, have, I would assume it's a 9-4. It's a good draft, but... Yeah, it's gone up to 94 already. Does it go up to 95 is the question. Uh, so we've got our uh, coach is a little bit low. That doesn't take it to 95. Is a 92 for an 84 enough to see 95 rated? It is not, unfortunately. We'll take our manager. And guys, that was the last attempt. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And until next time.